Hi. Well, today is day 10 of our journey of 40 days through Celtic Advent and uh, well done for staying the course so far. It also means that there are, there are 30 days before Christmas, actually 31 days, I guess. <clears throat> a bit sobering, but let's not go there. This is supposed to be a nice quiet contemplation. Let's not get all panicked. With it being our 10th day and we're in the process of looking at incarnation, we're going to specifically look at the birth of Jesus and focus our attention fully there today. It's an amazing story that God, the eternal, the uncreated one who was there, Jesus was there at the beginning of creation. All things came from him and for him. It's all made by him. And yet this one, the cosmic Christ, who was there in the fullness of time and in all time, now decides to become a human being, to limit himself to a virgin's womb and to become just like you and I. It's just a mind boggling story, really. And of course, this is the moment that the Jews had been waiting for, where the Messiah, the savior of the world would arrive on the scene. They'd been longing for this. They'd heard so many prophecies about this. They were waiting for this day. And this is actually the day that is the, the, the key point in the, the, the Judaic faith and, uh, and also, of course, in the, in the Christian faith now. So how does the Bible talk about this moment when the Messiah is born? Well, amazingly, the, the moment gets a verse of scripture. In fact, not even a verse, just half a verse. In Luke 2 verse 7, and just the first half of the verse says, And Mary gave birth to her firstborn son. That's it. How understated. How meek. How perfect for the beginning of the servant of all who emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, being born in human likeness. There are many stories about the lives of the Celtic saints, and we know some of them as they appeared on the scene as adults, so Aidan, we didn't know anything of his beginnings, but we, he arrives as an adult and he obviously goes on to be the founder of the monastery at Lindisfarne and many others. Hilda is probably the one that we know the most of uh, before she was born even, because we have stories of her mother in, uh, in pregnancy. And as her mother is pregnant with a child, her father is off in exile and potentially is, uh, is assassinated actually. And while her father's off in exile, her mother is, is pregnant with her. And then she has uh, prophetic words over the baby that's in her womb, that this baby will come and will bring light and will change the, the light in the nation. Very similar, actually, to the prophecies of Jesus. So this prophecy about the birth and life of Hilda was a sign that the divine light would be with Hilda and shine through her in the life that she led. Hilda's birth itself is not mentioned, only that she lived as a princess for the first half of her life. And then she went on to establish a really well-known monastery in Whitby, where both men and women were monks and nuns there. And they had a huge impact on spreading the gospel across the nation. I spend a moment in quiet contemplation. What does it say to you that the actual birth of Christ is so understated? How does this reflect the understanding that you have of Christ's teaching about humility and meekness?
and we think of the incredible prophecy over Hilda that as she was born and she grew, she would bring light to the nation. Just ask, how am I bringing light into my situations? Today's reading is from Luke chapter 2 again. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son, and wrapped him in bands of cloth, and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them in the inn. And let's pray. God incarnate, as you took on human form and entered the world, you did so in a quiet and unassuming way. The record of this actual moment is just one half of a Bible verse. Help me not to seek glory or recognition for the things I do for you, for the examples of the works of light I embody. May all the glory go to God, the creator of all. Amen.